Okay, so as you can see, it plays the tape pretty well. Um, now the top here, some interesting stuff that we can do is we can try the tape at a different speed. So let me put it up there and hit play. That plays it slow, and then we can go even slower. And you may be asking yourself, you know, why do this? Why play it at different speeds? Actually, the reel-to-reel -reel machine has been used several times for actually, like, a musical instrument. So bands such as uh, Frank Zappa would do stuff where he'd record stuff on here, play it forwards, backwards. Uh, Pink Floyd would do this. The Beatles would even do stuff like this and just using the reel-to-reel -reel player as an instrument. And um, something interesting to note is that when editing with the magnetic tape, you can actually cut the tape and you can tape it with other tapes to make sequences. Now the thing with reel-to-reel -reel is, is if you have a master copy, putting it to another tape would already decrease the quality. So it would only be 75% to 90% of the quality of the first tape. So when you're doing editing, you have to make a sacrifice to either destroy the original master tape and chop it up into pieces and then splice it together, or you'd have to make a copy and then have lower sound quality and then do your editing. So these things weren't very efficient, but they were very interesting. And uh, finally, I'm going to show you another reel-to-reel -reel player. This is probably my favorite. Now, what you can kind of see in front of you is an Akai reel to reel player. This one's significantly more heavy than the other one. But, uh, so Akai is probably one of the best known brands in reel to reel players. Uh, it's a Japanese company, and they currently make a lot of electronics, like general electronics, like washing machines and stuff like that. And, um, the reel-to-reel -reel players are really well known, uh, even for parts. Like one of them on eBay goes for a ridiculous amount broken. Something like, I don't know, maybe 200 bucks for a broken one. And uh, the one that I have right now, it's in pretty good shape. It needs a new replacement cord, but uh, otherwise it's pretty good. And what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm going to show you some of the recording features of Reel to Reel. Now this, I already have a tape threaded here. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So down here you have to feed the tape a special way. And uh, you have the spinning part right there which propels the tape. And then you have to get it up through here. This thing actually makes it so you can hold the play button and all the buttons down, stuff like that. I don't know why they chose to do that, I guess it's something of a fail safe. Uh, over here, you have your power button, you have a switch between tape and source, you have your tape speed, you have a tape selector, so you have low noise, wide range, phones, microphone input, you have your output, and then over here, you have your sources for microphone and line in on the bottom and then you have your switches, pause, rewind, stop, play, your tape direction, stuff like that. Now for this I'm going to go grab my mp3 player. So This is just a regular old iPod and uh, this cord right here is plugged into the line in. So I plug that in and then I have the obsolete theme song queued up here. So, as you can see, I have the record button and the play button. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these two buttons down and that starts the tape spinning. Now, we're in the magnetic tape part, not the leading strip, which is white, and I'm going to hit the play button. And I have to switch this to source, I believe and now it's actually recording, you just heard it playing through and so I'm going to let this record for a little bit and uh, see how that's going and now I'm going to stop it I'm going to stop the tape, I'm going to rewind it 
This is going to have to be an exact science here. I'm trying to stop this tape before it runs out. Alright. Got lucky on that one. Now I hit the play button. Got to switch this back to tape. And you should be able to hear what I just recorded. I'll just unplug the iPod. Well, as you can see, that kind of worked strangely. Let me rewind it and try again here. So it looks like there was a couple problems with playback. It's not a perfect system, but I can at least attempt to show it off. And there you go. You can hear the theme song coming through there. Raise the volume a bit. Now I can change the speed. Make it run faster. And that is the reel to reel player. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So that about wraps up this episode. Uh, as always, questions, comments, concerns, stuff can be emailed to me. And um, you can always go on the IRC. And uh, something new is that I'm uh, putting out torrents. So you can go up to the website, find a torrent link, and you can torrent. That might be faster than direct download since I'm using archive.org. And I'm also on iTunes now. So you can get this through iTunes and I believe a couple other sites that uh, do streaming in the same fashion as iTunes like Miro. So you can find information for that on the website. And um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and hope to see you for the next one. So, um, Sammy, you know, um, last night was totally so amazing. But next time, please leave the rooster at home. Thanks. Bye. Hi, this is Nation. And my way of life is based on obsolete technology. Hello. You're watching Dish Network's Pirate TV channel. Did you know you're not an authorized subscriber? That's right. I'm speaking to you on a channel that only someone receiving programming without proper authorization can view. So if you're watching me, you're a satellite pirate.